to assess groups, right? To sort out what they need to do better. Now I've watched this drill, and I'm pretending that y'all are a lead or a team, and that I've sorted out why this mistake is occurring. Now I'm going to tell you what the mistake is, and then I'm going to tell you what the good thing is, okay? Okay, so listen up. If we're looking at a mistake, I would say if you want to just be super straightforward, it's the colors. And the mistake is going on at two different places. One is that this colored defense is now more than 10 feet away from their the black defense. And because they're out in front, they're at a disadvantage. Now, you take this same group. And you put them back there. And now they're not making a mistake and they're no longer at a disadvantage, although they are located 10 feet away from their opponent. Tell the person next to you why that is. They're in the back, so they have all the space to work with. Well, they can use them as a block. Yeah. Now, colors, come back, please. Now, say that colors took homegirl all the way to the head. Okay, now pause for a second. So I just called this an advantage or a disadvantage because of their location, their position on the track in correlation to their say that they hit homegirl out of bounds and then they reposition where they are located. And she has to come back in. I just want that solid three. Yeah, but also, 
your team needs to defend against that. All these bitches running one way, they're not on your team, don't let them, it's weird. It's like, oh, you want to do that? I'm not going to let you. So here we go. So now blacks are at a disadvantage. So let's say that this jammer here sees the light and pushes them up. They have to drop a bridge. And here are the path. Now, here's where the drill's about to start. Remember I said that my job is to recognize what's actually the mistake? Well, let's say I'm trying to recognize it right here. Let's say that our team was at an advantage, was at an advantage, was at an advantage, and then they, they keep on having jammers that get hit out of bounds and suddenly they're at a disadvantage. Who's making the mistake on that team? Is it the defense or the jammer? Both. 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 But this group wouldn't be here if she hadn't gotten wet. Knocked out of bounds. So jammers, here's a drill for you to do at home when you watch a video of yourself. You watch video of yourself and you time. The amount of time you spend going forward, like directly forward, the amount of time you spend moving laterally without actually gaining any forward distance, the amount of time you spend Wipe out front. Right up front now where you just ended this 